Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of t, and this equals 9. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So, if you consider t equals 1, what we'll have here is 1 to the power of 1, and this will give you 1, which is not 9. If you consider t equals 2, what you will have here is 2 to the power of 2, and this is 4, which is also not 9. If you consider t equals 3, what you have is 3 to the power of 3, which is 27, and this is not 9. So, amongst all these values, what we can easily derive is that when t equals 2, we have 4, and this 4 here is less than Nine. T four here. And when t equals three, we have twenty-seven, and the twenty-seven is greater than nine. So we can actually get the range of values for t, which is two less than t, and t less than three. So this becomes the range of values of t that will satisfy this equation. So you can consider testing for 2.1, 2.2, but it should not be less than 3. So that's not the way of solving it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this exponential problem. We have t power t equals 9. We take the natural log of t to the power of t, and this equals the natural log of 9. If you have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. We apply this property right here. So the t will come behind the natural log. We have t times natural log of t equals natural log of 9. Right now, if you multiply this out, you have t ln t equals natural log of 9. What we can do at this point is to apply the Lambert Rue function, which is represented with capital letter W. And for you to make use of this Lambert Rue function, you have an expression. You must have an expression such as a times e power a. So this represents the Lambert W function. And this is the expression or the format for the expression that must be used before you can apply this Lambert Ray function. And whenever you apply it, you have a result as A. It is not a most that it must be A times E power A. You can also apply it when you have X times E power X, but it must be in this format. And when once you apply it here, the result will be x. It's not necessary that it must be variable alone. You also have applied when you have numbers. You have 5 times e power 5. You have 5 as the result. So what this basically tells you is that what you have here must be exactly what you have here. Just like this. And there must be e that's separate the boots. Now that we have gotten it, let's try and manipulate this equation to be in the form of a times e power a, so that we can apply the Lambert Rue function. So I copy it out here. I have t times ln t equals ln nine. So to convert this to x times e power x or a times e power a, we need to consider this fact that e power ln x equals x because the e eliminates the ln. So going by that, I can simply replace t with e power ln t because the e raised to the plus ln can cancel itself and I still have my t. So this equation becomes 
instead of writing t here, I'm going to replace it with e power ln t. That replaces the t. Then I have times the ln t here, and this equals the ln. So the next thing we are going to do will be to rearrange this because it must correspond to this. x before e power x. So look at it here. We have e power ln t before ln t. So it needs to be ln t before e power ln t. So we have ln t times e power ln t. And this equals ln 9. Now, having it this in this form, we can then apply the Lambert Rayleigh function because the ln t is here, the ln t is here, the exponent, and we have our e right here. So right now we apply the Lambert Rayleigh function using capital letter W. Then we have this ln t times e power ln t, and this equals because we have it here, we also need to use it here. I'm a function of ln9. So remember that whenever you apply the lambda function here, the result or the output will just be ln t. You have your ln t equals the lambda function of ln9. Now don't forget the fact that we are solving for t. So we need to eliminate this ln and we make use of this e power ln t. And this equals e power the lambda value function of ln9. The e eliminate the ln. So what we have here is just t equals e power the lambda value function of ln9. So we have solved this and we have gotten this solution, this equation as our solution. So we can then make use of this to find the actual value of t that satisfies that equation without testing. So what you are going to do will just be to lock in this solution into your calculator. So you are going to have t equals e. If you don't find this capital letter W in your calculator, what you are going to see will product lock. It'll product lock of ln 9. So you have e to the power of product log of ln 9. And whenever you type in this, you have an approximate value of t that will surely satisfy that equation. And this is in for the smart places, which is about 2.4 one zero. So this becomes the value of t that satisfies that equation. So if you have t to the power of t simply means you have 2.4510 to the power of 2.4 Five one zero, and this will give you an approximate value of nine. You can equally test out this. It is going to satisfy that equation. You can test this out. So that is it, and that is how you can actually get it right. So, ladies and gentlemen, see you again.